Hey everybody, welcome to another edition here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're enjoying this channel and you've been watching a few of these videos, please consider subscribing. And with all that said, let's get into today's video. So Tyron Matthew to Washington, could it happen? Well, there's been some reports that Matthew may decide that he is done in Kansas City and wanting to possibly review his options and move on. And so anytime that you think about any of these high profile <clears throat> um, guys like Tyron Matthew and, um, you know, Ron, uh, not Ron Rivera, man, think about my coach, um, Russell Wilson, guys like that, you know, you're always like, all of these guys are heading to Washington, right? Because historically it seems like uh, this team is always ready to make the big splash this year I think we are ready to make the big splash but um, what what does TM bring to the table for Washington if we do decide to bring him in well certainly you know we can need all the help we can get in the secondary I think we always say that because we always seem to get depleted in the secondary with injuries now Cam Curl has done I thought a pretty strong job uh, within the secondary he had a really good rookie season in my mind um, he played I believe he played strong safety in his rookie season uh, I'm not sure if he played the same position if he played a little bit of free safety possibly uh, in the second year or if he kind of just got moved around a little bit he may have gotten moved around a little bit due to Landon Collins getting moved into more of a hybrid linebacker uh, position. But, you know, that that's also an interesting um, thing when you uh, add in that variable with all of this uh, safety talk is <clears throat> what are we going to do with Landon Collins? You know, if we keep him on and he continues to flourish in that hybrid linebacker position, you really do need somebody else in that safety position who can solidify the secondary a little bit better and Tyron Matthew would definitely be one that I would want to bring in uh, I've actually been wanting to, to have him coming into Washington for some time now um, but you know we'll, we'll have to see what happens with that um, could it be a possibility though that um, maybe somehow there is some sort of weird trade scenario where I mean, I don't even know how you would do this, but, uh, you know, somehow he gets sent to Washington. Um, I, I mean, I'm sitting here and I had all this thought out in my head and then I'm like, okay, how is it that we wind up getting Russell Wilson in this trade knowing that, okay, Seattle's not the one who actually has Terry Matthew. It is uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. So how is it that somehow the Kansas City winds up getting camera curl, but this has something related to do with Russell Wilson? <laughs> you know, uh, but it's some weird uh, trade scenario that I had where somehow Washington um, and Kansas City and Seattle all winds up in this weird trade scenario where we wind up getting um, Tyron Matthew and we send uh, Cameron Curl to Kansas City and then uh, between both of them they wind up getting our draft picks or something like that and we get Russell Wilson as well. I, I have no idea what I was smoking when I was thinking of it. Honestly, I don't smoke, but you know, um, I, I'm just trying to think of some ways I think to where we can have our cake and eat it too. But um, you know, I, I really, I think this year it's important that Washington really looks at not only, of course, you know, quarterback's going to be the number one position that we're going to have to look at as far as making sure that we get our guy. I mean, that is just, we're, we're in year three of the Ron Rivera regime, and Riverboat has got to be the Riverboat. He's got to gamble, and he's got to try to get that quarterback, and from what we've heard, you know, they're going all in on either Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson. And I have a feeling Russell Wilson would be more of the realistic all in for than Aaron Rodgers. And at this point, I would rather have Russell Wilson any day of the week than Aaron Rodgers. I mean, let's just face it, Aaron is closer to retirement than what uh, Russell Wilson is anyway. But having said all that, um, 
you still have to look at your your defense and you know it could be that if Washington um, maybe if they wind up giving up maybe this is what I was thinking maybe in a trade to Seattle for Russell Wilson we're gonna to have to give up a player I think this is what I was thinking of earlier and so we don't want to give up anybody on that defensive line like every every other fan is wanting to give up you know Chase Young and Monte Sweat and the whole defensive line to get Russell Wilson plus our next you know first round draft picks for the next 50 years instead of doing all that you know my thought process was you know Cameron Curl is a very very solid safety he is a good player for us and I would not want to give him up but he is a very attractive trade bait certainly and so you know he's still on his rookie contract too I mean how attractive would that be and I'm talking from a strictly business standpoint so you know if you're going to give up a player you know sweeten that deal put that in uh, with the deal along with your draft picks Seattle would probably take that and then you would have to see if you could try to deal out something with Kansas City for Tyron Matthew uh, to bring him in to uh, fill that void that Cameron Curl would leave. You would upgrade that position somewhat. Uh, you would have a good free safety out there. You could probably, I know there's been talks of maybe cutting Landon Collins. At this point, you would cut him strictly because of the money situation. But I think uh, moving him into the hybrids uh, position really worked, and you may want to consider keeping him for that that reason alone. I mean, that really helped us out a whole lot last year. And so, um, you know, if he can stay healthy, and that's the biggest thing. So, yeah, that that is actually what I was thinking of earlier. You know, it's funny when you get on camera, it's like, Oh my God, I suddenly had this great idea. I, for, I forgot exactly what that great idea is going to be. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I, you know, Terry Matthew is not one of those big name players who we have to sign him sort of things that I was thinking of in my head. He is actually a player that could really come in and play well for us. Um, you know, pro bowl caliber player, somebody that we need desperately in the uh, secondary especially if we've got to deal away one of our better players and I think it would be Cameron Curl would probably be somebody that I, I would hate to say but would probably consider dealing away I think he would be the most attractive one to deal away with um, I would avoid uh, you know moving anybody off of that defensive line championships are won and lost within the trenches We've built that those trenches up. We don't need to move anybody off of that whatsoever. So I feel like that might be something we may want to consider. Uh, so guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. As always, thank you for watching this channel. Let's go Maniacs, and let's go into the next video right now.